For several decades, the refrigerant and standard motor vehicle MVAC systems was R12. When the change was made to start using R134A refrigerant in the mid-1990s, several MVAC component changes were made. Because of the properties of R134A, new hose and seal materials were integrated to help prevent leakage. Another change was in the desiccant material because of the system moisture differences between the two refrigerants. But perhaps the most notable change was in the condenser. Condensers for R134A systems are substantially more efficient than R12 systems and are physically quite different, allowing for similar cooling performance when using R134A due to increased capacity and airflow. Couplings and hoses are different among the various MVAC systems. Whereas R12 systems and service machines use SAE 3/8 inch service fittings, R134A and R1234YF use quick connect type couplings. Dual R134A and R1234YF service machines will have two sets of hoses with the proper couplings for the particular type system. Although the couplings for R134A and R1234YF are labeled as to their use, both the hose couplings and the service ports on 134A versus R1234YF systems can initially seem very similar. You may verify exactly which system is in the vehicle by checking the AC identification sticker located under hood or in the driver door area. When in doubt, test fit the couplings to the service ports very carefully. The height and dimensions are different. Do not force fit. Hoses used with AC servicing must have shutoff valves located within 12 inches of the vehicle into the hose. This is to help prevent accidental venting of refrigerant. Dual usage of hoses and pressure gauges between different systems is not allowed, as this can result in refrigerant cross-contamination. Regarding the repair of hoses, the proper connectors, crimping methods, and hose fit must be correct. Incorrect field repairs for hoses can result in refrigerant venting. A new component addition that has appeared in recent years is the Suction Line Heat Exchanger, or SLHX, also referred to as an Internal Line Heat Exchanger, or IHX. Some newer R134A systems will have this, and most R1234YF systems moving forward will contain a SLHX or IHX. Technicians need not be overly concerned about differences in operating temperature and pressure between the two different type systems of 134A and R1234YF because they have remained relatively the same, as this chart shows. One last difference must be addressed, and that is regarding evaporators. R1234YF evaporators must meet the SAE J2842 standard. This was not necessary in R134A systems. Having looked at some of the component differences between the systems, let's now review proper service procedures for MVAC servicing. 